Okay, so uh, we're going to look at your neg- regular tempo first. You can see how the club kind of gets lifted, the club head, and picked up, and then you recover well. Uh, Setup-wise, I like your spine angle. Get a little tilt from your hips forward. But there tends to be a little too much squat or sit-down in your lower body, right? Okay. So if we can tilt first from your hips forward and then have what I call a little knee break, you want to be more in the middles of your feet with your body weight, right? Okay. A great way to physically know that is taking place in the future is you should be able to raise up your head or chin, as you can see with me to the right here, and still view the ball. See that? If I'm sitting down on my heels like that, I can't do that because I can't see it, right? So by having your head up a little bit like I do and not being tucked into your neck so much, that's a good verification that you do have balance, right, to see the ball still. Okay. Just gives you more room to turn as well, right? Because okay. your grip's fine for the most part. You know, club face is square, ball center in your stance, stance width is good. Everything else is actually pretty good. We're going to watch the takeaway from where you're in position-wise. Look how the club head gets raised up. Right in the beginning, it almost gets picked up with your wrists and hands, yes. lifted, and then it gets looped and placed up over that shoulder with a wrist cock. But there's not much turn being established, shoulder turn, for the reasons I've mentioned. Come back down, the arms get thrown back down, and you tie this one very nicely to get the club face onto the ball, and the best part of your swing is the follow-through that you make. But imagine being able to make that follow-through with a better turn or a fuller turn now active in your swing. Just generate more speed, less strain on your back as well, by the way, would be what would take place. So you'll have that to kind of look